The Hale v. State Farm case began when State Farm was reneging on its promises to policyholders. A jury in Southern Illinois so found and assessed them for an ultimate verdict well in excess of a billion dollars. And it was affirmed on appeal, and then it, of course it went to the Illinois Supreme Court. That was the beginning of a long 21 plus year adventure. There was a vacancy on the Illinois Supreme Court. 80 plus percent of the monies that Justice Carmeier relied upon in his campaign came from State Farm and he was elected. Justice Carmeier then participated in the case and he broke the deadlock. The Illinois Supreme Court reversed the trial verdict and so we went from a billion dollars basically to zero. And then the Supreme Court of the United States decided Caperton versus Macy, which simply put stands for the proposition that you cannot fund your own judge's election and then expect that person to sit on all your cases and do your bidding. That got us thinking about what happened in our case and we hired a forensic accountant. We were able to trace a lot of the money to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and a few other organizations in Washington, D.C. U.S. Chamber would give money to another group called ATRA or they would give money to the Illinois Chamber of Commerce, and eventually it would come back to the Carmeyer campaign. And one of State Farm's defenses was we can give money to the U.S. Chamber, and we don't control where the Chamber gives the money, but we were able to show that State Farm had very prominent people sitting on the boards of all these nonprofits. We subpoenaed the phone records of the campaign as well as State Farm. There were an extraordinary number of communications between State Farm and the campaign during that election. After he'd been elected, but before he took the bench, he met with the CEO of State Farm, Ed Rust, in a private meeting. Justice Carmeier was biased because he'd been financed largely by State Farm who had a billion dollar case pending in his very first case that he participated in. Justice Carmeier was desperate to have State Farm settle the case so that he didn't have to testify. They paid four million dollars in dark money to elect him and a quarter of a billion dollars to keep him off the witness stand. The United States Chamber of Commerce and the Federalist Society and others are incredibly well organized. These forces are attempting to take over the judiciary at all levels. This is what we're facing today in America. This is why lawyers need to speak out about dark money. This is why we need legislation that does not permit dark money in judicial elections. We were able to do what we wanted to do, which was to shine the spotlight on this issue of dark money and get our clients paid. We need justice to be blind. We can't have biased judges ruling on our cases. It undermines everything. That fight to have justice be blind was what this case was all about. Mm -hmm.